What's going on guys? Team Art here. Welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Here we go guys. All right. So, we are currently at like kind of a crossroads in this game. Like it's a uh, it's a spot where we have to make a decision. We have to choose if we want to go with the Institute or with the Brotherhood of Steel or with uh, you know, uh, Railroad or you know all the other options that we have. And uh, you guys as of the last episode have helped me to decide. So uh, we did a straw poll in the last episode. I asked guys what you all wanted me to do. And in the first place spot is the Brotherhood of Steel, which I'm actually very excited about. That's the one I wanted to do personally. And uh, I've heard that it's got the coolest ending out of all the Fallout endings. So uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it. Now, uh, the second place option was relatively close and that was the Institute. So uh, what we did in the last episode is we did like a, a big hard save. And uh, after we beat this as the Brotherhood, we may come back and do it again as the Institute if you guys would be uh, interested in that. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and take this uh Take this up to the print win, and we're gonna go talk to Dr. Lee. So Dr. Lee was an old doctor that was working with the uh, the Brotherhood of Steel and helping them out and stuff like that. She was eventually captured by the Institute and kind of fled the Institute. And uh, now we've got her back on the print win with the Brotherhood. So uh, she's gonna help us in getting this giant 50 foot tall fighting robot back into fighting order and uh, Take out the Institute with it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Sorry, Dad! Sorry, Father. Ton really weird, crazy stuff going on, but uh we got daddy issues, dude. This is <laughs> it's messed up. Alright, so it looks like Miss Lee is right here. Madison Lee, what's up, girl? You can stop at any cost. What changed your mind? Nothing changed my mind. I promised you I'd return to the Brotherhood, and I've kept my end of the bargain. Do I need to remind you why you made that promise in the first place? Of course not. Dang it! You neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. What's wrong with that? I've been on this road with the Brotherhood before. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Um, save because, the Commonwealth. Because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. Yeah, right. Think of the children. <laughs> you know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that, I'd laugh in their face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. We so got her. Dr. Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's Hook, going line, to and sinker, baby. Work to get Liberty Prime back online. But we'll get it done. Okay. So now we need to speak to Proctor Ingram. Let's go back over here. Boys, we're running out of power cores. I'm really not liking it. We have a little bit of money. We'll be able to buy some power cores, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that these last few power cores will get us through the rest. Of the game. I don't think we're that close to the end. Like, I think there's still quite a few missions left, so it's going to be very, very close as to whether or not we make it. We've been been kind of reckless with our uh, our armor recently, but hopefully we don't run out of gas because that would... Imagine being like the last mission when you really need it the most. And having run out of gas, oh man, that would be bad. All right, so we're gonna go back to the Boston airport here. We're gonna go down, we're gonna talk to Ingram, tell her that Dr. Lee is in on the project, and uh, I'm sure they're gonna send us off on some random wild goose chase to go find uh, you know, some part or piece we're missing or something like that. We'll see, see what happens So, But yeah, this is, this is it boys. We're pledging our allegiance to the, uh, Brotherhood. Once Father's again. gonna know we're going against him. Very, very soon. Excuse Here we go. Dr. Ingram. Wow. Well, things it. are off to a good start. Isn't that right, Doctor? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory core. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. <laughs> Charming, isn't she? She's a know-it-all for sure. All right, let's see what she has to say. Um, Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides, Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, good news. since things are going so well, 
We're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Whatever the heck that thing is. What do the actuators do? Pretty simple, really. The actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new limbs are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't lose them. Uh-oh. Before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Okay. Well, we need to locate a high-powered magnet, and it looks like they're going to have us going down here. Can we go to any hospital we want? Because like we went up to the Medford Memorial Hospital right here. And that's where we found one of our other things we needed to get into the Institute. And we have a... Do we have another thing? No, I guess... I think we can get a magnet from there. But it also wants us to go down here. So I'm a little bit confused. Boys, you will not believe it. We just found almost like a shortcut to this mission. It's absolutely insane. So uh, I was trying to decide if I wanted to go up to that Medford Hospital, which we already know about, or the hospital that the main objective was leading us towards, like down the bottom side of the map. And then I was like, you know what? Sometimes we've needed stuff before. We went to Diamond City and checked with the merchants. And uh, the first two people didn't have anything, but our girl Myrna here has a high-powered magnet for just 30 caps. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that. Go ahead and accept, confirm that trade. And holy cow, now we need to go back and we need to construct some electromagnetic actuators. Now, if you guys remember, she did say that everything that we needed for the, the actuators, except for that magnet, was available at the airport. So now all we're gonna have to do is just search around the airport and get whatever else we need. I, I don't. We might even have the stuff we already need. I have no clue. We haven't looked the um, the list yet. But that's. I don't know. I just like that was like a moment of pure brilliance that I had. Like I was just like, you know what? We should check with the merchants. You know how you see like the people with the Brahmins walking around around Diamond City and stuff like that. I was thinking about trying to find one of them because they usually have like those weird things that are actually pretty useful. But uh, we uh, we got one from Myrna or Myrna and the. Uh, in the Diamond City kind of like central area. That's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. So now, now what we don't have to do is go all the way down here and search through a creepy old hospital, which is uh, is pretty awesome. Okay, cool. So where do we, do we build these things over in the, uh, I'm assuming we're gonna build them over here, right? Let's see if we can open up crafting. So we need to build electromagnetic actuators. So we need one, two, Three, four. That was it, right? I still like wow. That's seriously amazing. We just, we just completed an entire mission in a matter of minutes. Are you serious? Holy cow. Proctor Ingram. I'm, I'm the MVP, baby. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of on schedule functions and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. Uh oh. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element: his nukes. Okay. Without them, his <laughs> offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The nice. eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. 
Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four Fat Man shells. What? Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Holy cow! All right, let's do it. Just Where did we get him from? I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. This is gonna be nuts. Can I we build, build the them? Nukes, like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings right now, but we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, <laughs> but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Okay. Dr. Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Seriously? I'll head out there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. <laughs> Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. So this isn't just a robot that, uh... Arming Prime with nukes should get him back to full fighting potential. It's not just a robot that we control. It's like a living, thinking, like, actual being, which is pretty cool. So we're going out to the glowing sea, I presume. Oh, Waypoint Echo? We haven't discovered it yet, but we did we did get that. One thing we haven't done yet is let's go check in on our boy Virgil. I forgot about him a little bit. I don't know if it's technically been long enough. He told me to come back a few days later, or a week later, or something like that. I don't know how much actual in-game time has passed. I don't think that much has passed. But we're going to try. Let's see what Virgil is up to. We're going to see if he's uh, he's come back to normal. I'm really, I'm hoping and praying for him, man. Virgil is, he's just all around a good guy. And I really, I want to see good things happen to him. Has he changed it all? Nope. Alright, well... We haven't given him enough time. I guess, so the deal is, is the last episode of Fallout was only like yesterday, but I actually recorded it like a week and a half ago because I was gone for Christmas and stuff like that. So I feel like it's been forever, but we actually did like just talk to him in the last episode. So that was um, probably a little bit too soon. He's back! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my gosh, I just wanted to see him for a second there. All right, so we're going to go to Robots, Robotics Pioneer Park, and then we're going to uh, to walk our way over to our objective. Holy cow, how does Virgil live in a cave where there's a death claw right outside? Like, what are you doing, bro? I, part of me wants to go kill that thing, just because we can, just because we have Fat Man. It's like, what if we just hit him with a Fat Man right in the back of the head? A headshot Fat Man when he wasn't looking? I wonder if that would be a one-hit kill. Probably wouldn't. We should probably do like a four-crank laser shot to the back of the head and then switch to a fat man and just end his life. But it's not really going to help us out that much anyway. It's not like uh, they give you much. Fusion core removed. What the? God, are you serious? Fuck that. Fuck this. Fuck everything. Ah! Are we gonna fight it? 
All right. Uh, oh, it's he's legendary. Oh shit! Oh, he mutated. We're dead. We're gonna die either way. Like, I don't know what you like wanted me to do. Holy cow! Why was there another death claw right there? Like, are you serious? Oh my gosh! We might be able to beat this guy. Part of me wants to beat this guy just to say we did. You unbelievable bastard. Just to say we did, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Or maybe what we should do is just fast travel to the robotics park Go to the road and then go down the road and not go through that little area. Like it was a little village around a pond and he was just chilling in one of the houses. I don't know what he was doing. Oh my gosh, dude. I love it that like the first time we ran into one of those things, it was terrifying. We ended up beating it. We're like well later into the game here. Like we've done a lot since then and we're, it's still terrifying every single time that you run into one of those. Like I, I like that that's a thing, that they're that scary that it's not like they get easy, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the stuff I'm just not really that worried about anymore. But those guys are still just like, holy crap, like leave me alone. Oh, well I was gonna go to that. But obviously it's broken. We had the Brotherhood on our side. I kind of want to go fight him again. There's a Brotherhood here and ready to help us out. I'm going to quick save. Help me out, Brotherhood. I thought the Brotherhood was supposed to be like crazy badasses. Is he running away? He doesn't want anymore. Oh, yeah, he does. All right, we're gonna go back to the fat man. Holy cow. I don't even know how to fight these things, dude. Like, they're like... Don't let him mutate again. We got him. Holy cow. Death claw meat and a death claw hand. It still doesn't really help us out that much. Like, what, is, what does that do? You know what I mean? Um, where's that gonna be? Junk? Or aid? Death, death claw meat? Wow, it gives you a ton of HP. And it's worth 110 caps. What about a death claw hand? Not really worth much. Whatever shotgun that, which shotgun do we have? That Fusil Terribles? This one's, it's freaking awesome. It's a legendary weapon we got. Um... From what's it called? That ship, the raider ship out in the middle of nowhere. But this thing, it's its super powerful. Like, that did some good damage to the, the death claw. Let's go ahead and get our fat man back out, and we're gonna go ahead and reload it. Oh, it already is reloaded. I didn't realize we reloaded it. 
Nice. Alright, well. We killed a death claw, boys. And now it's time to get to our objective. 